I think it's completely about what the photographer has experienced. Light in the darkness, darkness in the light. Mm. What do we think? My name is Mikko Lagerstedt. I'm a fine art photographer. I shoot creative landscape photographs. For me, image making is more about what's not in the frame. So I like really minimalistic photos. I love to capture the emotion of the place, really. The prompt really gives me the focus to look in a bit different way. I was thinking about maybe use some artificial light underwater so I get some nice details and then maybe the northern lights dancing above or maybe the stars. I'm excited, yeah, because it's quite broad, but I think it sparks the idea of contrast, different lights and different mood. I shot a few shots that really, I think, work well with the prompt. We went down and we saw that the light was coming to this hill and there was no snow in the foreground trees and then there was snow in the background trees. So it gave this nice light darkness vibe, which was really nice for the prompt. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I like that foreground tree and yeah. And the light is amazing. Beautiful. Yeah, the blue is pretty nice yeah. as well. This shot with the lonely tree and the light coming through the mist. First I, I tried longer lenses and everything, but then I just saw the little tree and the sun was like blurry a bit and then it appeared again and I was shooting that for a while because otherwise it goes by so quickly because if you miss the moment, it's gone. Weather can play a nice part of the inspiration. If you shoot in nice misty view, it's much more atmospheric, which I like. And usually that gives a story to the image as well. It's always with landscape photography. When you go out, you never know what you're gonna capture. If you are too focused on just one thing, you won't capture probably anything. Another shot was this dead tree branch on top of this lake and there was nice textures, contrast that really work with the prompt. That shot was something completely different. I was just trying to first capture some details in the frozen lake and then I saw this branch of tree underwater and slightly on top of the ice and also the composition just came to me. I saw the little reflections of the trees on top of the image and also the textures were so nice because I really enjoy the graphic look of the image. The underwater scouting was <laughs> quite hard because it was windy and the water was coming. So I was like, can I find anything that's good for shooting at night? Because I was trying to figure out if there was some logs or uh, grass or whatever underwater. So it was really different to what I usually do. It was more of a test as well with the housing because you never know how it works if you haven't used it before. It was fun, but really challenging. I really want to capture that split view of Northern Lights and maybe something mysterious underwater. And I saw that the clouds were coming in, so I had to shoot the shore. So I went uh, deeper and deeper and I tried a few shots and then it was really difficult to get it like straight split. 
view. So I was like, oh, this is really hard. And then I got some northern lights and then the sky was full of clouds. So I couldn't see anything at that point. I was like, okay, maybe I should go back and try again tomorrow. You can't see underwater when you're shooting there. So. And I took off the camera from the dome and I was looking at it and it was at 18 millimeters, the lens. And I was like, oh, that's why I couldn't get enough sky <laughs> from the shore. So I was like, oh, damn, what happened here? Yeah, well, okay. you did what you wanted. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> yeah, 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 but like for the first step. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you get a moment like this, of course you feel really annoyed by it. You are like, no, how did I miss my chance? But then again, you have to just keep the faith and keep on pushing yourself. Keep on doing the things that will get you the shot. Yesterday when I tried again, yeah, it was <laughs> brilliant because I finally got a shot of the uh, underwater and then the northern lights at the same time. Not as bright as the evening before, but still I really like that I got the shot. It's amazing to see the photos come alive really. When you vision something and then you see something, it's completely different. But you know, okay, this is exactly what I was looking for with this prompt. It's been really nice to try to capture the prompt and opening your mind to a completely different type of work you are used to doing. You see something and that's the thing you instantly like connect with. It's not like, okay, the punch of words and something appears, but it's, it's more like the emotion you get when, when you see something. For me, it's always about the process. It's not about the outcome because you are in your creative mind trying to figure out, okay, what works, what doesn't. That's the beauty of photography. When you're doing AI, I don't know if you can get that same type of feeling because you're just typing words. It's still so different to what I enjoy about photography. <laughs>